Wow, what is that? What are you doing? Why are you doing the jig? I'm doing the jig, jig, jig. She's a bit too excited. Yeah, for I'm excited actually. This is because she's only just. This is her Monday, but it's okay. There's about a thousand ways to begin each day, but hey, you guys have chosen this one to start here, right here with us. Starting here is actually the best decision you could have made. Welcome to Wake Up Nigeria. Of course, it's another day to make magic on breakfast television. Thank you for joining us on another inspiring Tuesday edition. Inspiring edition, absolutely it is. Prepared by the amazing producers here. And brought to you by the brilliant and also very vibrant presenters. Oh, Thank yes. you very much. We're all dressed to the teeth for it. I actually forgot my tie today, but it's okay. Where did you keep this? I don't know, I, I rode so it's in the car. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. But in any case, welcome. Not just us, we'll be joined by others and you guys are gonna have a while. All right. Uh, well, while Mazino is at it, Right. <laughs> I'd like to say good morning good to morning. you guys and welcome to my favorite part of the day. I don't know about you, but I really hope it is as well. What is my favorite part of each day? Let me see. The truth is, and I, I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not trying to sound cliche. Okay. My favorite part of the day, please believe me when I say, is every single day at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. I'm not joking. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. I don't know, there's a sense of, it, no matter how I feel from before, once seven o'clock hits and I do this first part of the show, you become pumped. Exactly. You become charged. So I'm not kidding when I say that. I'm not saying that because somebody said I should say it or because I wanted to make you guys feel like, eh. no. It's actually my favorite part of it. You guys are lucky though. It's not all the time <laughs> that Mazino gets to, you know, so give, off, give himself. Yes, yeah. give off myself. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the case is, <laughs> welcome once again. My name is Mazino Appeal. And I'm M.M. Ime Alkwache. Do not forget that you can watch the show live on Gold TV Channel 27 and on UHF Band 49. And on Terrestrial, you can follow us on all our social media platforms as well. We are at TPC Connect. Let's not forget that you can also see past editions of the show on YouTube. All you need to do is go to YouTube and search us out. TVC Entertainment is the word to type in there. And send in the comments, whether on YouTube or anywhere else. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We love to read from you guys. All right, Mazino, let's get to it. Yes, indeed. We'll let you in on what we have on the show you today. Want to start? So, yes, yes, yeah. No, uh, Go, go. No, no. All right, so on parenting, <laughs> we have, and we'll be joined by Olabisi Orni. She's the founder of Value Added Parenting. And today we'll be talking about tips to connect more with your child. Parents and guardians, you got to stay close for this one. On health, we have Dr. Olatumbi Olawale. He'll be here to talk about pain and its management. For a musical performance, Afro pop act Akiruli Samuel, popularly known as Sammy Clap, <laughs> he'll be here performing his latest uh, track called Visa. I could do it a couple right now. And for an interesting conversation later on, we have comedian MC and hype man Ainana. Ainana. <laughs> I love his name. Well, you got to stick around for this conversation later on on the show. Uh huh. Grand. Yes. Gonna have a very good discussion with that guy yeah, later on. So stick around, to you're gonna it. love it. How are you? How's your maybe how's your, how's your Monday? Let me know the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well good to have you on Tuesdays. Anyhow, you have the longest weekend of everybody here. Yes, I do. Uh, what did things. I do yesterday? Oh yeah, I went to get my nails did, you know, because <laughs> Got a very, okay? I've got a very eventful week actually, so um, I just felt like I'm simply meeting people. Yeah. You know what they say about dress the way you want to be addressed. What was that conference you were at over the weekend? Oh yes, the mental health conference. Yeah, what was it about? Um, so it was um, um, organized by Dr. Mimina Kadiri. She okay. is a long, long friend of mine. Mm. She's an elderly woman, so I call her my mama. mama. And uh, yeah, it's uh, there was a median edition, and it was so much fun because we had so much to learn from. So mm. we shared, we talked, and it was a gathering of women. It wasn't specifically for women, mm -hmm. but a lot more women turned up. It was Mother's, and it was mother's Day over the weekend. It was Mother's Day so over the weekend, I, I exactly. Imagine. So um, a lot of women were, you know, pretty excited to what be What were the high Africa. points? How, how so, did you... you how did you guys express this mental health status in Nigeria? What, what uh, well, the, you know that a lot that of, from? I know men also deal with ah. their own sort of, you know, <laughs> mental health, health issues and pressures and all of that. But um, as working moms, business women, entrepreneurs, having to do with so much going on, it was important for us to have that conference to remind us that your mental health 
is mm. important. It is priority. And we also learned about stress management because many of these things could be, you know, things yeah. that trigger yeah. your stress levels and how you respond so it's not the to stress. it. It's, very important. it's not the stress, it's how you respond How you respond to, to the it. stress. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, Hopefully, we can get plenty of time to talk about that today. Yeah. I think we should we should be able to, so not to worry. Mm -hmm. Do stay tuned. Welcome once again. This is Wake Up Nigeria. It's the news on Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Mike Mesikeno. Governor, Governor Babajide Songwulu has extended the olive branch by calling on other contestants to join him to move Lagos forward. The governor said this shortly after he was declared winner of a 2023 gubernatorial election by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Senior correspondent Adidoja Salama Deni captured the moment. Family and friends, Lagos State Government officials, and the All Progressives Congress chieftains converged on the Marina State House to share that victory moment with Governor Babajide Sonwulu. <laughs> Governor Sonwolu of APC polled 762,134 votes to defeat his closest rival, Gladibo Roots' rival of Labour Party, Wugana, a total of 312,329 votes, while PDP Gidia Dejemo came third with 62,449 votes. Then the moment all have been waiting for. APC. For Governor Sonwulu, this victory is a validation of Lagosian satisfaction with his performance in the last four years. Going by the wild margin of victory, his party recorded against other parties. He opened his hands of fellowship to other contestants. No victor, no vanquish in the true spirit of sportsmanship. If you indeed believe that you want to serve this city, you want to serve this state, you have an opportunity with us. And we will open our doors to listen and to give you a space in this government. Lagos is one of the most sophisticated states in the country. The Goshans are very smart and very deliberate. So it is to validate our performance, to say we are happy, please continue what we do. For those who used ethnic sentiments in the election, the governor said Lagos is larger than that and will continue the brotherly love the state is known for. Lagosians, we need to come together and further the, build the capacity, the competence, and the experience that we have in this city. Religious will not divide us. Ethnicity will not divide us. Lagos will come out bigger, stronger, and better. Governor Sonwulu made it clear that election is now over. Governance has commenced. Adidoja Salama Dini, TVC News, Lagos. Chief Abimbola Boderin has congratulated Governor Babajide Somolu on his re-election as the Chief Executive Officer of Lagos State, describing his victory as well-earned and well-deserved. In a statement by the Public Enlightenment Forum on Democracy, Voters' Education and a Psychology Charge, Governor Somolu to see his return for another four years as a golden opportunity to further develop the state and welfare of its people under his watch. Now, INEC says it will review results from two local government areas in Enugu State before declaring the winner of Saturday's election. Returning officer Professor Omadwe BC of Foyewe announced the suspension of coalition on Monday. Mian Akiri has more details. Days after residents in Enugu State took to the polls, the raven series of events that has led to INEC suspending collation. On Sunday, at the state's collating center, there was drama as party agents alleged overvoting in Nkanu East. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, this guideline was totally ignored in the, result, in the, in the election for this Nkano East local government. The, the electoral officers there claimed 
that the beavers is not working and then they resorted to manual accreditation and, and voting. This led to the returning officer, Professor Ofoiwe, postponing the event to Monday. For dawn, protesters have taken over different sites of the state collating center. <laughs> After more than seven hours, the returning officer announced suspension of collation with a review of two local governments. Activities in this center have been suspended by the commission. And I want to appeal that we respect the decision of the commission in quietness and in peace. This has led to different reaction from politicians in the states. It was the same process that produced the, the result that gave APC, uh, gave uh, Labour Party the ticket that also produced the governorship this state. But while we have accepted the result with equanimity and even congratulated the winner, they are contesting this one that the same process produced. And that is why we are saying INEC is overreaching itself. It has no powers to delay the announcement of this result. I was in constant touch with my uh, personal representative, my agent, and then Kano East Collating Center. And at a point, he, he complained of uh, mayhem and violence, and that his life was not safe. And he told me that he was leaving that place and he was going to send to me the result, the collated result in the, of his local government. He, eventually, eventually he, I got that collated result, res, uh, re, result. Surprisingly, the, that collated report, which he got from the collection center, was completely at variance with the one which was submitted at the uh, INEC headquarters. But the incumbent governor in the states, Ifan Yogwai, term limited, Residents in the Nugu state would have to wait for INEC's decision to know who will manage the affairs of the state for the next four years. Mian Akiri, TVC News, Enugu. That's it on news for now. We'll take a recess. Stay with us. We will return with the headlines to the dailies. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the segment we like to call the headlines. <clears throat> and where I'll be telling you the headlines you'll be meeting if you choose to pick up one of the dailies for today. <clears throat> Got a couple of them. And we're going to be starting with the Daily Trust newspaper for today. And on the Daily Trust, we have this big headline here. NNPC wins Kano, or rather NNPP wins Kano, APC in Kaduna, Niger, Benue, Nasara, Borno, Eboing, and Cross River State. PDP uh, clinches play to rivers, Delta Taraba leads in Zamfar. I next declares a demo poll inconclusive. Uh, solid of, uh, soldiers killed two policemen in Taraba and coalition uh, suspended in Abia Enugu State. At the top for the Daily Trust, two killed, many abducted as bandits block Buari Jere Road. Analysts uh, forecast interest rates hike as MPC meeting ends today and notorious bandits Umaru um, Nagona killed by troops. Let's move on now to our next daily for a Tuesday morning, and that will be the Nation newspaper. For the Nation newspaper, we have these headlines. APC wins 15 states, PDP 6, and NPP takes Kano. Labour Party leads in Abia, um, Fubara, Otu, um, Obere, Wuri, uh, our governors elect. At the top for the Nation newspaper, Lagos OK's 20% salary raise for workers, payment backdated. Cash crisis, banking infrastructure for uh, expansion. That on page seven will interest a lot of people going through the cash crunch currently, or narrow crunch, I should say. And experts um, expect new moon for Ramadan tomorrow, says the Sultan. And Jam sets new guidelines for direct entry registration. And that will be all for the Nation newspaper. We take a look now at this Nigeria. And the headline that meets you first is INEC declares Adamoa Kebi governorship elections inconclusive. At the top for this Nigeria, 78 million children at risk of water-related diseases in Nigeria, says UNICEF. 
And to the side of the photo story, uh, we have these ones here. Electoral violence claims 21 lives during Saturday's election, say the EU EOM report. And APGA denies 3.5 billion naira allegation of vote buying in Adama. And once again, JAM set new guidelines for deregistration, uh, or rather direct uh, entry registration, that's DE registration. Taking a look now at our final paper for this morning. The Punch newspaper has these headlines. APC wins 15 states, PDP 6, and NPP takes Kano. 27 killed nationwide in election violence. Thagri, uh, Ganduji, Tambual, candidates uh, lose. And PDP rejects Ogun, Katsina results. Um, Kwankwasia uh, supported defy curfew, supporters defy curfew and jubilate in Kano. INEX suspends Abia, Enugu coalition, uh, coalition rather declares Adamawa governorship poll inconclusive. And a look at the st uh, photo story here showing the charts for the states and also the parties that won um, the polls. At the very bottom, Saolu raises civil servant salary by 20% and Lagos husband arraigned for wife's death. And finally, musician friend kill BDC operators guard arrested. And that will be all that we can take for this morning for the papers. If you pick up one of these, do let us know if you have any opinion. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Welcome. It's time for Coffee Gist. Yay, Yay. Mary. Good morning. Good to have you here. Are you guys dressed yeah. similarly? Was there like a slumber party I wasn't invited to or something? Uh, I, I don't think so. No. You didn't miss out. I didn't miss out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. If there was a slumber party, Mike would know. Mike would know. Mike always knows. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. So, what's up and about? So, I wanted us to talk about this. Now, yes, I know that everybody has been experiencing the cash crunch, you know? Forgive me, I repeat. Oh, I, I take that back. Naira crunch that's been going on. Because it's not like as if you don't have money. It's just that there's no Naira. And a lot has happened. Everybody's been either annoyed, angry, frustrated, or so and so and so. But in all of this, there must be something good that has come out of it. And I declare that there has been. I, 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 I say that in my experience in the past, in the, why are you smiling at me? I know why. In the past many um, weeks, I've experienced people begin to grow a sense of empathy mm. that was not there before. Mm. People have said, oh God, ah, no worry. Now all of us did this wahala, mm -hmm. they go. I've mm -hmm. had experiences where we were at mile 12 and this lady actually said to my wife, uh, it was a big amount of money, but she actually let my wife go even without seeing or confirming the um, alert. alert. Oh, okay, that's at the end of the day, it didn't even go. Mm. But we had to call her back, Madam, you don't come. She's mm -hmm. like, no, it hasn't come. And then we did the transaction again. So I dare say that there is a sense of empathy that people are beginning to own mm -hmm. now. I don't know if everybody else agrees or if you've experienced it, uh, yeah. uh, but I've experienced had, it here and there. People had that empathy at the start of the... Did we? Yes. No, we're very people frustrated, did. angry people. No, though. people did because they believed, okay, I will go. But when several failed mm -hmm. transactions <laughs> started piling up, that empathy went out the window. Yeah. You cannot blame them. What many people lack is honesty. Mm. When you do a transaction and it fails, there is no crime in doing it again. There was somebody who kept calling my mom, calling my mom, calling my mom over a transaction I did. And when I went to the... The money was never... In fact, I'm still going to call out that bank one of these days. They didn't refund me the money. Mm. But in the statement of accounts, they put reversal. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't understand. And I had to send it back to the person using my own money. Like, I, I sent them a message, DM, mm. on social media. Till now, they've not responded. I'll have you people's time soon. But these things are... What if you don't have the phone number of the person? So you've, you've, you've experienced no... no. That was at the beginning. At the... That's what I'm saying. It... The, unless the person is a regular. And me... I, I struggle to change people. Mm -hmm. So if I buy things from someone, you stick with it's You're difficult very loyal for me to customer. say, loyal yes, customer. not like that. It's difficult for me to try did someone you, did else. Did you experience any, you know, shining uh, moment in well, all this? Um, I can't remember. Wow. I can't actually, not, not actually universally with me at the moment. But um, I've been on, on social media, there's actually been people who have been, you know, attesting to, you know, um, how people have responded and how mm. people have been good and, you know, the sort of empathy people have shown, you know, mm. in this period. And it's been, I mean, there's a story of the Mao 12 lady mm -hmm. who posted, like, there was a series of tweets that led to it, right? So, in other words, she was just, you know, promoting herself. I mean, she, sell, uh, she helps people to buy goods from Mao 12. Like, so if you want to buy yeah. tomatoes, pepper, and all of that, yeah. she posted it on Twitter and boom, 
Babe has been getting all sorts of goodwill from different corners, See? even internationally. There was some lady who, you know, reached out and said her brother from the United Kingdom said that she, so she has was a willing send to me service. Eggs. Yeah, send yeah, she has me. a send me service, so, okay. right? And you know, there's been sort of good where people have been sending her monies, 500k, all sorts. Like, go, just go and chill, just go and relax. You have wow, tried I'm in your the wrong business. <laughs> so, I mean, Mike, did you experience I think, any? I think the major issue has to be with uh, NIBSS, mm. the, um, yes. you know, the controlling system yes. and all of that. And it's for What's me, NIBSS? Uh, that's you know, the when you get your SMS, you see NIBSS. 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 That's the interbank system that controls digital transactions mm -hmm. okay. between banks. Now, for me, it's not empathy if you do allow a person go. I think it's a lack of wisdom. Lack of wisdom. Yes, mm. because it's, if you, even if you send me, I can let you go because I know I'll see you the next day. Mm. But we've seen cases of even between the same banks, it's either bounced back at the same time. Yes. It's, not a case, it's not an issue of how I feel. It's, it's just that the system has now is messed up. You understand? So if you let somebody go without maybe having a number to get back to the person, even when transactions have gone, mm. she basically will tell you, please, we need your number. Yes. And I asked why. I said, okay, because of the issues, I'm okay. Yes. I give them my number. Yes. So it's business. I, I would feel bad if somebody just tried and said, okay, it has gone and let you go. Yeah. And then it could not come back. What if you are not as nice as you? Yes. What, what, is, what, I'm what if they call you and then they lap. block you? Yeah, Honestly, that could also so be Exactly, that's in, the problem. In, in, so if in, people were honest, it would help. In but all many of this, people are dishonest. In all of this, there's a saying that I, I, I read about. Um, a person is a person only because of another person. And it's a collective thing. Yeah. Honesty, empathy, put them together. If I have it, you have it, we all have it. And if we decide to begin with us, with our me, sense of humanity. ourselves, our sense of humanity, I think we have plenty mm -hmm. of hope in the mm -hmm. future. As, yeah. as much so as they say hope is dangerous. Yeah, well, still. Let's not even talk about those that do fake alerts. Please, let's just move <laughs> on. We'll be right back. Tell us what you think. Your great experiences or anything has come out of all of this. We'd like to hear and share. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back. Now we are in the kitchen. And uh, it's good to have you, Chef. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. So what are we preparing this morning? We're preparing owo soup. Owo soup. Yes. Okay, well, so what are the ingredients that uh, we're working with? Okay, we have um, dry fish, mm. we have palm oil, we have gari, we have starch, we have native salts, we have potash, we have um, dry pepper, and it can um, be eaten with yam or plantain mm. or um, starch. Tell us a bit about this soup. Tell us a bit about the soup. Okay, um, this soup is from... Um, Delta State, um, southern Nigeria, mm. and um, the Urubos, the Shekiris, the Jaws, they are the ones that enjoy this soup. And uh, we also have another version in um, Edo State, the Benins, but um, mm. there's a little bit different. It's mm. made with um, tomatoes, um, but this is made with gari. Mm. So it's a staple food. You have it at weddings, events. It has to be present in any event you have in Delta State. Oh right, definitely. Yes. Okay, so um, let's get let's get started. How do we how do we get started with all of this? Okay, um, first of all, we have to boil our um, fish with a little bit of water, and um, um, let me do that. The fish is already cleaned. Should I do that now? Okay, all right. Um, I think just okay. A little bit of water. Okay, so. And this. I'll add this to it. Oh, wow. We put in the fish with the um, with the. We don't take off the the stick no, you don't or whatever. Take it, no, you don't take. You leave it, it like that. You leave it like that mm. okay. to show that it's really native. You know, this soup originated from the village, so our mothers they didn't really have so much um, things to do stuff then. So they put the stick inside to hold the fish together, so it doesn't. Um, scatter inside your soup, so it's whole when it comes out. Okay. Yes. All right. So um, we'll get we'll get to preparing it. We'll get to set all of this up okay. and all of that. But we'll get to the ingredients. We're cooking owo soup. Yes. And we're having the owo soup with um, yam and plantain. With yam and plantain. Okay. Yes. But the gari is all is part of the soup. Yes, it's part of the, the main ingredient: the gari and the palm oil. Okay, interesting, interesting, okay. All right, so we'll get to um, show you how all of this is going down. We'll get started, but we'll get to show you the process as it goes. Let's head over to the couch now. Miri uh, has a lowdown on what we have next. Now, you know, Owo soup is one soup I know I definitely want to try. I've heard so much about it. 
Uh, away from soups, though, let's talk parenting. And as always, we have uh, Olabisi Oni. Olabisi Oni, the founder of uh, Value Added Parenting. Uh, she will be examining tips on how to connect more uh, with your child. Uh, well, so let's uh, get started with that. Good to have you in the studio with us. Thank you so much. So I'm glad to be here once again. I've always wondered, there's always been a disconnect yes. between parents and children. Some parents get it right. Some parents struggle. Some don't even bother making an effort. And so I wonder, could you just tell us, before we delve into the tips, what is the importance of connecting with your child? In fact, it's as important as you paying your child's school fees. Mm. It's as important as saving your child's life. Wow. Because connecting with your child is actually the foundation of you building relationship with your child. If as a teenager your child is going to confide in you, even as adolescents, if your child is going to hear something outside, something happened to your child, your child is being bullied, if your child is going to come to you and tell you about whatever, the like you are the first person your child will come to to tell, is this connection that will determine that. And it's very important. And it's not going to be easy. You just have to be intentional mm. about it, like deliberate. Sometimes you're tired, but because you know what is at stake here, you're like, even if it's five minutes a day, let me use it to connect with my child. So it's very important. Mm. Wow. Okay, so now let's talk about the tips. What, okay. what tips do parents need to know? Okay, so the first this. tip is saying I love you to your child often. I love it. A lot of people find it difficult. And it's not something that is hard. Your child wakes up in the morning, and the first thing you tell your child is, babe, you know I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Just imagine the smiles mm -hmm. on that child's face, especially for a father, father and to daughter. Mm -hmm. If you tell your daughter you love your daughter often, by the time that child grows up and somebody is coming to tell her I love you, you know, hear any grooms, nothing will be different because it's something she's been hearing from her father. So there is no difference. You see a lot of young girls fall into some things, to some guys, because they've never seen or felt any affection mm. from their fathers. That's what happened most the of the time. Father figure syndrome. Yes. Yeah. So that is important. And just imagine you hiding a note under your child's pillow. Mm. And your child wakes up in the morning and he sees the uh, things that you write about her or him, like how proud you are to have him, how blessed you are to have that child. Or in your stationary purse Yes. Imagine you put it in your child's lunch box and in the midst of friends, your child opened a lunch box and you saw a note about mommy or daddy that, babe, do you know I love you so much? If I, she will scream. <laughs> Honestly, it's something I've done before. You know, I went to my son's school and I wrote it in a cardboard that, babe, I love you. So once, immediately they opened the gate for me. I just raised it like this. In fact, all the classmates, they were like, Abraham, Abraham, come and see your mom. They were so excited. <laughs> and a lot of them went home and tell their mom, look at what mom Abraham did. Yeah. My son's birthday, I will go there. You know, it's a special day. I will do creative things. A lot of the, his classmates would tell their parents, no, I want mommy B to help me. I want Abraham's mom to help me do it. I love the way. In fact, a lot of them would call me, please, you help my son. You know, another thing is showing interest in what they love. Most of the time, you want your child to study a uh, doctor, but no, that's not what the child wants. For instance, I want my child to learn piano. Mm -hmm. as, um, learn how to play, play piano, piano yeah. in their music in school. But my son said no, that is drum in love. Mm. But I love that piano. Like, I want to see my son, you know, moving that. But he said, out of all the instruments in this world, is drum in the love most. will let your eardrums know that something is happening. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I said, no problem. You will learn your drums, then I'll still get the piano. As a size, this is what I love. But I see, allow the child to learn what you love, you know, understand. So and support them in their choosing yes, field, encourage yes, their, yes. their choices as so well. So another thing is um, also pay attention to your child. Give them listening here. It's very important, parents. And when you are, not that you are with your child at home, you are on your phone. That is not connection. Hmm. Your child is talking to you. You are on your phone. Many it's not connection. All of us. In fact, yes, all of us. <laughs> all of us are guilty. So the, the children want connection. They want eyeball to eyeball. They want to know if you are with me. Hmm. You know, sometimes my, my son loves bedtime story a lot. 
And most of the time, if we, we don't have anything to say, we say, mom, use your imagination. Wow. And sometimes he also uses his imagination to tell me story. But most of the time, I'm on my phone. Mm. So the boy will ask me a question deliberately. Like, mom, what did I say last? They, they, they do it too. In fact, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, oh my God, God, for, I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, like, mom, put that. That is another one. Yes. Another one. Apologizing is very important. Not saying because eh, I am your, no, I'm your mom. No. Uh -uh. In fact, you are teaching the child how to say I'm sorry to you. And when the child is outside, in fact, there is a saying that parenting is about you, not your child. Mm. Whatever you want your child to do, just model it. Yes. Just model it. You want your child to greet others. You too, when you wake up in the morning, greet. Like, let your child see you that you greet others in the house. Respect others. Respect people. others. Yeah. You want your child to honor you and honor others. Honor your child as well. Parenting is about the parents. Mm. Not that all your expectation is on your child. It's very important. You want to connect with your child. You want your child to tell you everything. In fact, these days, teenagers, they are growing apart from their parents. Yeah. It's not their fault. It's because, okay, another thing is, your child comes and tells you you are disappointed in whatever your child comes to tell you about. Don't be afraid. Don't show it. Mm. Your emotional must be balanced. Like, hold it. Like, okay, nobody died yet. Look, there, there's <laughs> so much to learn from this. And I'm the trying. reality is, parents just need to do more in connecting with their children. It's only for a short while. Before you know it, their wings have grown, they yes. fly away. But yes. whatever connection you have it's is what foundation. sticks for the rest of their lives. Yes. Thank you so much for your time, Olavi Sioni. It's always a pleasure having a conversation Thank with you. So you. All right, at this point, uh, we will take a break. Wake Up Nigeria continues in a bit to stay with us. It's all happening. Um, as you know, I know you're a fan of uh, Owa and Starch. Yeah, but we don't, there's no Starch this morning, but the old soup is here. I, I actually didn't know that it was the same starch that, that they use for clothes. But uh, <laughs> Chef Anne is just telling me this here. Okay, now we uh, were done with boiling the fish. Yeah, that yes. was where they cut us off uh, the last time where, you know, but the fish is now done boiling. Yes. Right, so what next, where do we go from here? So now we have to have our gari. Our gari, we're going to add it to the water. Oh, so you don't throw away the water. The water... No, all okay. this is rich fish stock. Okay. So you add your gari. Gently what if, and What if they didn't wash the fish well and this stock is dirty? No, I wash the fish. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, not this one. I'm just saying generally, like, what if someone bought fish from the market that wasn't well clean or something, and then, you know, in, in the, uh, the, you know and they are saying, that, okay, let me boil it first and take out the... Ah, dead no. and all of that. No, you have okay. to wash your fish first. Okay, all right. Just like you wash your vegetables before you slice them. All right. So now this thing you're doing here now. Yes. Well, how do you sh ensure that you have the right um, consistency? Yes, consistency or, that you need for it. How do you ensure that? Okay, you have to sieve your gary. Okay, so that you get the fine, the yes. finest, finest greens. Yes. Yeah. And you can okay. see that it's becoming thick. Okay. And it's boiling. Okay. So now you keep stirring. Mm. It depends on how thick you want it. You can see it's really thick. Mm. So you can add a little bit more water if it's too thick for you. Whoa. Just a tad bit water. Ah, why are you going back now? Ah, uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that's jumping up. <laughs> I'm not used to it that way, but it's all like you. Okay. So this is done. So now... Mm. We are going to move over to mixing our starch. This is starch. Okay. And it's the one for class I used to, <laughs> wow. to do this also. So it's just different preparation. Wow. If I add hot water into this now, you can use it for your clothes. Or if I put it in the pot, I put a little bit of palm oil and a little bit of salt, mm. you can eat it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay. now we have um, our native salt. Okay. This is native salt and this is um, potash, account. Okay, okay. All right. So I'm just going to add a little bit. You have to be careful because it can be really overpowering. It's really salty. Oh. Okay. Really, really salty. Why, why, why do you prefer it to the normal salt that we use? Um, that one is refined. This is okay. raw, really mm -hmm. raw. So I'm going to add a little bit of palm oil. This is native palm oil. Uh, is there any palm oil that's not native? <laughs> this one is. Um, like I said, it's raw. 
So you just okay. So the together. others are more processed. That's yes, what you exactly. Okay. Thank That's you. That's what you mean. All right. So okay. we mix this together and set aside. Then to our boiling. Oh, you can see it's getting thicker and thicker. Mm. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit more water. Some people like it like this, but um, I like it thinner. This is too thick. So how do you so, shapes when you maybe put fish or something that the that you know when you are frying sometimes those things are jumping out. When it splashes, out, uh, uh, you, are you we are used to it. <laughs> we are very used to it. So I'm going to add pepper. This is just your normal dry pepper. You can okay. get it anywhere. Just a little bit. I'm going to add crayfish. Keep stirring. I'm going to add crayfish as much as you want. Okay. Stir. Okay, Shefan is here. We were just about to show you where the magic is happening. That's why we had to start with this. So, Shefan, let's go straight okay, into so it. So, here is our mixture of starch okay. and um, oil. Mm native salt and potash. Okay. So now we are going to pour it in. Okay. So. Mm. so oh. So you just pour. Okay. And you stir. Oh, okay. Oh. Everything has to go in. Can see? Mm. Stunning. Mm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I like how this is going. Okay, how long will you stir this for? No, this is cooked already. I just add my fish. Okay, let, and let's leave on low heat. Let's uh, on low heat, eh? Yes. We would have to reduce this. That's Oh, is, 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 is he expecting to do that? Yes. So, oh, wow. we just pour this in. Okay. And we leave to simmer. Okay. It's all the yummy, yummy goodness of your can enter. Mm. And at this point, you can't add salt, you can't add oil, you can't add any other Why thing. can't you add? Because if you are done cooking and you're like, oh, let me go and take a shower, when you come back, your oil can split. What does it mean by oil <laughs> split? If it gets cold, you okay. can see a line go through your oil and the water will start separating from the oil and every other thing that you used to make it. So at this point, you don't add any other thing. The only chance you had to add um, salt and pepper was when you had your starch mix. All right, apart wonderful, from wonderful. that. Okay, uh -huh. so um, Mazino should have uh, some bits on this one. Uh, this is from your place, Mazino, right? Maybe we should, we didn't need a chef today. You are here. You guys, you, you, I don't, you know, I'm even lost. Why I was are you speechless? I was speechless. <laughs> I was just looking at everything that was happening, and then somebody says, "Yeah, it's from your village." I'm like, eh. "Yeah, well, that's it, a war now." It, yeah, well, I, I'm a prof consummate professional at eating it, not at looking at it get prepared. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's happening, but it looks delicious. Especially when the whole fish went in. Yeah, like, yeah. That's gonna be something. That is to what eat. you call a meal made in heaven. Yeah, because when wait it to goes have it. into your ooh, I nice. Have it. I hope you have enjoyed the first hour, guys. Remember to sit tight and relax. We have a better let's have five minutes coming right up. My name is Mazino Abheel. And I am MM Emil Quatcher. You can watch the show live on Go TV Channel 27 and on UHF Band 49. You could also follow us on social media. We are at TVC Connect. I hope you're keeping up with past editions on YouTube. TVC Entertainment is how to find it. Now, let's let you guys know what's coming up for the next 45 minutes. We have health. Dr. Olatubi Olawale will be joining us to discuss pain and its management. Now, Dr. Olatubi is a physiotherapist with special uh, speciality in sports medicine and also orthopedics repair. Afro Pop Act, uh, Akiwuli Samuel, popularly known as Sammy Clap, will be thrilling us to his latest track later on, Visa. Now, finally, joining us for an interesting conversation, we have comedian, MC, and hype man, Hayenana. 
Everybody remembers him from the very first time he hit social media. Now stick around for this one because it's going to be explosive. Six for six year old child school. Fees. It happens to people who well, can afford, people it. Can afford it, so no yeah. problem. Mm -hmm. Why they stammer like that? that time? Hi, Nana. No, the way they stammer. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it was just overwhelming. All He's that. already yeah. eating the soup mentally. I can smell it, but I'm on a diet. <laughs> oh, you are? Once again. I've always been on a diet the past one. So you're not year. eating it? No, I am eating it. Okay. So, <laughs> so you, know, you know what happened? <laughs> no, you know what I think happened? I think Betty left and Mazino replaced her. Always oh, on a diet. Really? Oh. Who's Always on a diet. Okay, it's Betty okay. and mm. that one. Oh, I've got, oh, I've got one question. It's March. Mm -hmm. And if I compare this quarter of the year to last year or the year before, mm -hmm. there were plenty more activities. There were weddings, there were, you know, people giving birth, people marrying and being given out in marriage. Are you saying babies are not coming out again? No, but there was so much activity. You could go every weekend. You could, you could, you could boast that, oh, I'm, I'm hanging out or I'm going to do the banner for a wedding or I'm going to do this year, zero to box, zero, nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's been a people's business. Maybe, maybe That's election. been happening. Mm. Maybe election. It's just your own friends. Yeah, yeah. it's that just your fact. circle of people. <laughs> no, but maybe election. I cannot happening. be bothered. Because maybe they planned yeah. that this is election period mm. and all of that. So a lot of people plan. I mean, I'm wondering if actually some people had weddings on. As in, I had to go to those who had their weddings. Yeah, no more people maybe just left this period free. Yes. Mm. And it's wise thinking to do yes. that. Mm. Because I know that a friend... A friend of mine uh, actually was putting together. She, she already even sent out the invitations for the 18th. For the uh, no, for the 19th actually, 19, uh, which was on Sunday. Uh -huh. And well, she had to cancel it because when they moved the election, she was like, "Oh no, she can't do it because mm. she doesn't want. She's not sure what's going to happen. The results mm -hmm. of the election, the outcome of the election, rather. Yeah. So she and rather just. Well, that well, that 19, some people were still voting. Yeah, mm -hmm. people exactly. Were still so voting. it's, so it's so going to be. See, for me, the reality is this: people also need money to do weddings. And mm. So when you tell your friend to, you know, buy Asherby, mm -hmm. and the friend is doing transfer like 10 times frustrated, mm -hmm. well, babe, I can't buy your Asherby. That's part one. Part two, you get to the party. Where do well, many brides and grooms get the cash they used to sort some of those mm. expenses on the day? It's from money spread. Now you get there, you paste account number. Please, Send us it's not the same here. feeling. And then people uh, are looking yeah, at the account number like, like mm. after I spent uh, <laughs> uh, how much of fuel to come here, or I spent about the number. Well, let's just enjoy no, the music. To be honest, <laughs> though, the effect of the cash crunt or the impact it's having on everything, even the economy. Mm. Wow. Well, hey, tell you guys what. Tell us your experience. We'd like to hear. It's the news on Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Mike Messikeno. Chief Abimbola Boderin has congratulated uh, Governor Babajide Sonwulu on his re-election as the Chief Executive Officer of Lagos State, describing his victory as well-earned and well-deserved. In a statement by the Public Enlightenment Forum on Democracy, Voters Education, uh, he charged Governor Sonwulu to see his return for another four years as a golden opportunity to further develop the state and the welfare of its people under his watch. Now, INEC says it will review results from two local government areas in Enugu State before declaring the winner of Saturday's election. Returning Officer Professor Ofoiwe announced the suspension of coalition on Monday. Mia Nakiri has more details. There is after residents in Enugu State took to the polls. The raven series of events that has led to INEC suspending coalition. On Sunday, at the state's coalition center, there was drama as party agents alleged overvoting in Inkanu East. With all due respect, sir, this guideline was totally ignored in the result in the, in the election for this Inkanu East local government. The, the electoral officers there claimed that the beavers is not working, and then they resorted to manual accreditation and, and voting. This led to returning officer, Professor Ofoiwe, postponing the event to Monday. For dawn, protesters have taken over different sites of the state collating center. <laughs> After more than seven hours, the returning officer announced suspension of coalition with a review of two local governments. The activities in this centre 
have been suspended by the Commission. And I want to appeal that we respect the decision of the Commission in quietness and in peace. This has led to different reaction from politicians in the states. It was the same process that produced the, the result that gave APC, uh, gave uh, Labour Party the ticket that also produced the governorship this state. But while we have accepted the result with equanimity and even congratulated the winner, they are contesting this one that the same process produced. And that is why we are saying, INEC is overreaching itself. It has no powers to delay the announcement of this result. I was in constant touch with my uh, personal representative, my agent, and then Kano is collecting center. And at a point, he, he complained of uh, mayhem and violence, and that his life was not safe. And he told me that he was leaving that place and he was going to send to me the result, the collected result in the, of his local government. He, eventually, eventually he, I got that collected result, result. Surprisingly, that collected report, which he got from the collection center, was completely at variance with the one which was submitted at the in their headquarters. But the incumbent governor in the states, Ifanyi Ogwanyi, term limited, residents in the Nugu state would have to wait for INEC's decision to know who will manage the affairs of the state for the next four years. Mian Akiri, TVC News, Enugu. And now there's also news in Adamawa State, where the Independent National Electoral Commission has declared the March 18 governorship election in the state inconclusive. The candidate of uh, the APC, Senator Aisha Tu Dahiru, popularly known as Binani, scored 390,275 to, 390, votes, while the incumbent Governor Amado Fintiri of the PDP polled a total of 421,524 votes. However, INEX State Coalition Officer Professor Mamudu Mele of the University of Meduguri declared the election inconclusive due to the marginal votes. According to him, elections were not held in 47 wards, affecting 69 polling units. Mr. Mele added, quote, based on these findings and analysis as stated in the electoral laws, where the margin between the two candidates is lesser than the total number of collected PVCs in areas where the elections were not held, the election is declared inconclusive. That's it on the news for this morning. We'll take a time out now. Stay with us. There's a bit more to come on the show. Talking health now with uh, Dr. Olatubi Olawale. Uh, we'll be discussing pain and its management. Now, let me let you know that Dr. Olatubi is a physiotherapist with specialty in sports medicine and orthopedics repair. It's such a pleasure as always to have Thank you here. Thank you very much, Mary. Fantastic. So uh, let's uh, start by defining what pain itself is. What is pain? Pain is actually an unpleasant feeling okay. that you feel. And it's, uh, it's described as everybody has different kind of feeling for pain. Mm. So any, if you are having any discomfort mm. and it's, as it's showing that there's an underlying causes mm. for that kind of unpleasant feeling, that's pain and can be divided into two, you have acute and chronic pain. Okay. Acute pain is the sudden effect of pain. Probably you just hit your leg on the wall, on the or one stool, it. and you sprain your muscle. It lasts for like two weeks, one to three days to two weeks. Then the chronic pain is chronic pain that lasts for six months, three months. Pain that has always been there. Mm. That's pain. Mm. So that's how you differentiate it. The one that uh, more is more or less recurrent, while yeah. the one that's uh, just for a few days, maybe yes. a couple of weeks. That's uh, acute. that's acute. Okay. So. How do you manage acute? Let's start from there. How do you manage acute pain? Okay, before even we talk about management, we, we, bef we talk about assessment of pain. Mm. Because I look at you and tell you, how do I assess this pain? Assessment of pain is depending on what you're feeling because you, you are the one actually, actually feeling this pain now. Okay. We assess based on, uh, we call something a verbal rating scale. Mm. How is the pain? Is it... Is it intense? Is it mild pain? Is it sharp pain? Is it throbbing pain? Is it discomforting? That kind of thing. Then on that one, we do numeric um, um, scale. I give you on a scale of 0 to 10. 
what kind of pain are you feeling? Is, is zero mean the least kind of pain? Ten means the highest kind of pain you've ever felt in your life. Okay. You tell me, oh, pain I'm feeling is seven over ten. Then I know this pain is more. You tell me the pain I'm feeling is like three over ten. Okay, I know this pain is more. Okay, something that is very, very... Uh, then if I tell you, oh, this pain is ten over ten, I know. But, but the, that assessment, couldn't it be based on what that person is feeling at that moment? Because yes. there's always the possibility that in five minutes' time it might get better. Yes. But, or the person might be exaggerating due to the, <laughs> how intense... Uh, uh, pain, pain assessment is subjective. Is that it depends on what the feedback you give to your, to your to doctor now. Mm -hmm. you can, if you're feeling pain at the moment now, and so there's another thing we use um, facial... Um, expression to know if yeah. you're in pain your facial expression you cannot be in pain and you're smiling yeah. so sometimes we use facial expression to know the kind of pain we are feeling mm -hmm. at that moment then acute pain is the pain that okay i just felt this pain in two three minutes or oh, this pain has been there for a while mm -hmm. now management of pain depends on three you can it can be medicine okay you can use a um, pharmacological way that's medicine okay. that's using of drugs now is that you use um, most relaxing. It depends on the kind of pain you are feeling. Mm -hmm. Some people's pain is actually probably motor tightness. Some okay. people's pain can be a nerve pain. Some people's pain can be aching pain. So depending on the kind of pain, now management of pain, actually acute pain, can be through medicine, drugs, okay. through drugs or injection. Mm. That's the first management of pain. The second management That's of... That's for acute? For acute, even for chronic even too. For chronic as well, okay. Even for chronic. So I'm going to talk the management even for acute and chronic now. Okay. It can be for management with um, drugs mm. or injection. Mm. Then the next one is physical therapy. Mm. It's your therapy now. Instead of using medicine and drugs, we use physical means. Now we can use heat, we can use ice, okay. we can use exercise, and we can use massage. Now, that brings me to a question. Yeah. When you talk about, you know, using ice or heat, how can you tell which one to use at a particular point? I ask this because sometimes people, you, you might just have a swelling and someone will say, ah, put something hot on it mm. or put something cold on it. And you're like, okay, how can you tell which to put and when? Okay, um, when there is a swelling or where there's a pain somewhere, there's a, start, there's a sign of inflammation. Yes. Inflammation is when there's um, something going on somewhere on the, inside the, the body. It's, it brings out with swelling, pain, and redness. So the best thing to use to counter inflammation is ice. Because there's already heat. There's already, there's already, because ice will reduce the blood flow. Uh -huh. So, and it reduces swelling. So if you use ice around the side, it reduces inflammation. Uh -huh. At that moment, if you use it, it can increase inflammation. Oh. So most of the time, acute pain, that's pain that is actually just very, very acute. Most people prefer using ice than it. That's why you go to any sport met any sports um, there's events. Always there's always ice because yeah. ice reduces inflammatory process at that moment. But what about the when do you use the heat? The heat now probably most time when the pain is actually chronic, there's no longer inflammation. Mm -hmm. Now you can use the heat. It actually increases blood flow. It relaxes the muscles. So it is actually very good for pain relief. Ice is actually good for pain relief too. Ah, because uh, you know all these elderly people. They say, "Come, let me rub it." No, rub it. Like. No. And they, they will use um, all this, um, o now, what, what's it called? I'm o trying to know if it was even a Ori, it's nice <laughs> now. All, the, all these mentholated uh, bombs, no. and then you are feeling mm. serious mm. pain. Okay, it's, so it's, it's, it's not. It's not. Good thing we've cleared uh, yeah. when to use which. Okay, so please go on. No, so I, I've said eyes. Exercise too can use in relieving pain. Sometimes your pain you're feeling can be used to sedentary lifestyle. When you exercise, especially people with arthritis now, yeah. I advise them when you just walk around, when you exercise, you feel better. Your, there is enough fluid going around your joint. Your joint is free. Your joint is flexible. Pain reduces. Okay. Then the other, other mechanism for reduction of pain is you, psychological. You know, you know, you know we, I, I know you have so many of them, <laughs> but we have to go down. Yeah, we have to go. We have to go. But just mention, I just mentioned. Okay, the management of, we have... Like, Pain medicine, okay. medicine. We have okay. physical activities, okay. physical exercise, and we have okay. psychological pain management. Psychological. So you work on your. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. All right. Uh, that, that's really enlightening. Thank you so much for your time, Doctor. You're welcome. Latimi. You're welcome. It's been interesting as You're always. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Daddy Mumi Sebo. I finally found my identity, guys. I found the son of who I am. I found my real dad. 
I wanted that to finish. Yeah. I wanted that to finish. But you found your real dad. <laughs> we're finally joined by, of course, this very interesting personality. He's a comedian MC. He's also a hype man. His name is Hainana. Of course, you guys know him all over across social media. He is here with us. Good to have you here, Mr. Thank Hainana. You. Thank you very much. Nice one. It's such an honor. I know that I know that you you're only just coming from off of a show which you finished just only a couple of hours ago, but you still took time out to be to here. Be and we're really yeah. glad that you did a lot. I, I think I, I derive motivation from you guys. How so? Oh, okay. So I said, okay, if this would be very stressful for me, leaving on November at three and still coming here by seven, well, you guys do it every day. Oh mm. yes. If it's supposed to call all the staff of TVT out and let's just clap for one another. Oh, thank you. Thank I mean, you let's so just much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Great. Let's start from your very beginning, which is not the beginning that we actually know. Your beginning was way back in school when you were doing MCing and all of that. But when you first came to our social media, mm -hmm. was that one piece where it was, uh, what is a female hyena? Uh, hyena. Okay, hyena. <laughs> and you went hyena. -na. I've always wanted to ask, was that real or orchestrated? Did you guys make that up or was it, did, did it just happen? It was neither real nor planned. It was frustration. Frustration. Yeah, because uh, our senior colleagues will always tell us, when you get an opportunity to speak in front of a camera, you need to show them how intellectual you are. Mm -hmm. You need to, you know, start, put words on Mabu, make it funny. I do words on Mabu. Mm -hmm. I even changed it to tiles at some point when I did not blow. <laughs> I was not doing words on tiles. You understand, I was trying everything possible just to be recognized, but it didn't work well. So it was 2017, AY Live, yeah. when they did at the hotel. A certain TV station was interviewing me, where a celebrity walked past, they stopped my own interview. To, set, to, to, to do so, his? To interview the, wow. the celebrity. So it happened like two different, um, different stations. Then I was frustrated, depressed, but I wouldn't blame them. They need content too. Yeah but perhaps not for me at that point in time. Mm. So another station had called me at that place, same place. They wanted to ask some questions. That was the name of a female Aina. And when they did, I knew that if I give them the right answer... It was going to be ordinary. Just, just, they, they wouldn't put it out. If I give them the wrong answer, they might not still put it out. So let me just give them the very, very wrong answer. And that was it. Boom. It trended, actually. Yeah. That, that, it was one of the most trending videos yeah. for 2017. Yeah. It was. It was. Now let's talk about the evolution in the comedic industry, in the comedic space. Um, we have seen um, at some point, especially when COVID happened, it felt like that was it for the stand-up comedy industry. Mm. And that was, that's what gave birth to skits. And then, you know, that's a lot of skits, you know, became a sensation in the social yeah. media space. Talk, talk us through your state of mind at that point when that transition was happening. How you, how do you think what's going to happen to you? How did you now get into the point exactly yourself. to the point where you are right now? I, I think I, I think it was worse for me. Really? Yeah, it was it was one of my worst moments in life that during the COVID era. Mm. Uh, so I'm a spontaneous person. I create jokes out of the things I see. Very true. Even if joke does not come by, time I want you more like 10, 15, 20 minutes, it, something would definitely drop. So the COVID era was a time that nothing was moving around me. I couldn't think, I couldn't, I couldn't reason. The same buckets I see here that I will see next week, it was, it became <laughs> something else. Monotonous. Mm. The answer that the time I came out and I, what the pattern was scream, scram. Mm. I scram. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 was, it was that bad. I, I came out, I shouted just to get myself back. Mm. Yeah. And that particular time was good for entertainers too. Yeah. Some people that didn't have platforms, all those mm -hmm. why, they decided to just sit at home and start to entertain people from their comfort, comfort zone. Room, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That, and that was the first time that everybody agreed that comfort zone is a good place yeah. to be. It is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so... You instituted one of the best kinds of skit making, and I'll call it The Running Man. It was your page we first the running found, man, The Running like Man. <laughs> the Running Man, just in case, I'm sure you've all seen it. The Running Man is where you, you know, complain about your life while you're taking off from the instance that caused it. Mm. And it was sensational. Everybody loved it. You continue to do that in different instances and mm. all. People have also tried to copy it and all. Let's take that and transition it to stand-up comedy, which is something that you're going to be doing very soon, if I'm not mistaken, at the Eco Hotel. Uh, no, no, yeah. at, at Federal Palace. Federal Palace. Yeah. 
Now, um, in fact, you know what? Let's let's show one of those videos of the Running Man, and then I'll I'll come back to ask my question. Do something about these lucky landlords. My landlord just called me now. He said he must not get one before me. How can a landlord be giving tenants coffee you seven p.m. I'm not your son. I paid for this house. Yesterday, I come out late. Can you believe the man? The man told me to sit down, or we refund my money. Seven to fellow. Okay, first question. The first time you did this and people saw you running and doing the video, did they think you were mad? This was out of frustration too. Also oh, out of really? frustration? Yeah. Because, yeah, everything that happened in my life, anytime you say you see me blue, you know, sir, I get problem. <laughs> at that point, <laughs> God won't just allow me to just make some... So they're real life decisions. experiences. Yeah. So this, this first video, the first video I made, mm. 2022 was rough for me. I sold some things. Mm. Entertainment-wise, it didn't really go well until the end when God just showed himself. So, me that was driving a Benz, now turned to someone that I had to take an Okada because I was going to Jermo's place. Oh, wow. I was, while I stood there waiting for Okada, police was pursuing Okada because that time they were banned Okada yeah. in Lekki. And I had to run pursue the Okada. The Okada waited for me. Police were still coming. I had to, he had to leave. Mm. Right there at the junction, me while they cover my face, so everybody knows me. Mm -hmm. My life flashed before my, my face. Wow. That was the most depressing time of my life. Wow. You understand? You're trying to pursue a color. It's mm -hmm. something we used to do. It's yeah. no big deal. Yeah. At some point in life, when it reoccurs, that's a big deal you get. And I felt okay. I don't have uh, 400,000 to do kids or 300 kids like I used to do. Now, how much what can I do you? now? Then just to keep myself away from that mood, yes, I decided to run on that. Um, that lucky, yeah. I, I just came and I ran. When I ran, I just posted it. And you know, come back, make nobody say I'm not drop anything. Yeah. Online. <laughs> then I dropped the second one, third one, and since then. You just said something that resonates with a lot of um, celebrities, and even we had that conversation over the weekend. The pressure to mm. want to post, yeah, and put to out content. Being all the time on social mm. media. Talk us through that pressure that you experience and it should, is, it, is it a good thing? Well, it is a good thing. It keeps you on your tools, mm. you understand? It makes you want to consistent. But again, you have to do because Nigerians have low attention span. Mm -hmm. If they are expecting something from you Monday, want to laugh, Tuesday, not job, Wednesday, they'll move somewhere else. Yeah. And if they find someone that has uh, probably 10% of followers you have, or is dishing amazing content too, mm -hmm. they will stay there. One thing about Nigerians, they go in full force to a certain place. And once they want to live like this, that's it. They used to be around like, guys, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, they, I don't, they come off. <laughs> Let me see if I will come out now. More block and no, no, more just come out. You know, you understand? <laughs> okay. So you just have to keep working mm -hmm. again because you don't know the video that will blow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Most of my video that will blow in my life, they are zero budget. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah, you have to keep working. And, and sorry, Kana, this is to you. I think money, you need money for entertainment. If the money doesn't come, then your career is going, yeah? So why can't you do some zero-budget things? It might work. Mm. It might work. Uh, That's for you out there. Right. Back to my first question from before. I really wanted to get this one out. Now the transition to actual stand-up comedy. You have something coming up and all. So it's going to be stand-up comedy? Is that the format? Yeah, it's going to be comedy music, but a, a different side of it, which is just comedy. I'll be doing like an hour on stage. Okay. So that, that transition, we're going to talk about it in the kitchen because we really want you to taste something that mm. we have prepared mm. for you. Can we, can we go already? Can we, can we bring him to the kitchen? Over? Can we bring him over, Mike? Yesterday, I come out late. Can you believe the man, the man told me to sit down or we refund my money. Seven to fellow. Governor, someone will please help us. So this people. Okay, well, Governor, someone will not come and eat in this food. We have to be taking Yes. Thank you very much for this wonderful meal. Uh, hi, Dana. Can you try? Let's uh, try it and tell us what you think. Is it tell try? Can I try? Can I tell you what you Finish it. Try it first, <laughs> then you can finish it after try. So, this is chef, tell us what you mean. So, this is, yes, this is boiled yam plantain okay. with um, dry fish, and this is owo soup. Owo soup? Yes. yes. Uh, if not, woman, I use that shop. <laughs> <laughs> You can, you can, you can. So that is the guy you the chop on you. I say you the chop on you. Is your bag I say this one is Delta. This one is Delta. But we are one, aren't we? Yes. But yeah. you know that's what I told you that I thought of the first time I had owo soup. I was There's like, money you money soup. soup. Mm. All right. 
definitely enjoying it. If anybody, if any people say court or cameraman court, we will have issue. Uh -uh. Uh, unfortunately, that issue you will have it because there's no time. <laughs> But thank you very much for coming over, man. Fantastic stuff. I can come thank you. Too. Just don't one worry. question, we don't, yeah? We, we have you. That bet with your friend that was going to UK and you were running to Lekki, who won that bet? <laughs> of course I won. You won. <laughs> All right. Well, All thank, right. You thank you for being so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you, you very so much. Thank you so much, man. I can't wait to dig into it. Yeah. I'm already I digging in. I know Maz is already happy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and sorry. Yes. Thank you so much for watching uh, Wake Up Nigeria today. We really hope you join us again bright and early tomorrow, 7 a.m. Bye-bye.